Panie prezydencie. Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I think we feel it all too well that um, it's worth having dreams. But dreams come true when, apart from dreams, we have courage and determination to pursue such goals as freedom and democracy. Mr. President, today in this room, you are meeting the Polish uh, democracy. These are those who fought for the Polish freedom and for the democratic state, and uh, they fought well. Those are the people who fought in the anti-communist opposition. Those are the people of solidarity. And here in this room, you also see those who have come here to meet you, and those are the practitioners of today's democracy. Those are the ones who take part in the today's um, processes of democratization. Here we see the representatives of the both chambers of the parliament. There are ministers. So there are also representatives of the major political forces in Poland, in our democratic Poland. I also would like to indicate at um, that part of the Polish democracy, which is not uh, directly involved uh, with politics, uh, but they co-create Polish democracy. The, those are non-governmental organizations as uh, they are watchdogs. They, in fact, uh, incentivize us as uh, to uh, take due care of democracy as our constant challenge and our constant commitment and to, to also be in touch with the society. Also, there is the former Prime Minister, Mazowiecki, together with us. and. Um, he is uh, the person who would like to talk uh, with you about our Polish experience in transformation. That is when we were passing uh, away from the communist regime and uh, getting onto a democratic society. And um, once again, um, I would uh, ask uh, uh, to speak uh, pri Mr. President first and then the former prime minister. Thank you very much. forward to listening uh, and learning from Poland's esteemed democracy leaders uh, and younger activists. Uh, I have to say that uh, it is especially uh, a treat for me uh, to be able to uh, see so many of you who inspired us in America uh, uh, when uh, the Solidarity Movement uh, first appeared. Uh, I was still uh, a relatively young man. Uh, I, uh, I have a lot of gray hair now, but at the time I uh, was uh, still studying. And uh, I, I remember at that time understanding that uh, history was being made because uh, ordinary people were standing up and doing extraordinary things uh, with great courage and a great, again, uh, against great odds. Uh, and the solidarity leaders and others in this room uh, launched a peaceful revolution that eventually led to a regime's collapse uh, and the downfall of a broader uh, system of Soviet repression. Uh, and that's had ripple effects and ramifications around the world, uh, not just uh, in Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, your actions charted a course for freedom uh, that inspired many uh, on this continent uh, and beyond. Uh, and it has many relevant lessons. So we want to encourage all states undergoing similar experiences to learn from Poland. Uh, we all know that uh, in the aftermath of the overthrow of a repressive regime, uh, emotions run high. Uh, but new democratic governments uh, have to show themselves to be able to channel that energy uh, in constructive ways. Uh, to hold themselves to higher standards than their uh, authoritarian predecessors in being inclusive, uh, respecting the rule of law, uh, respecting minority rights, uh, believing in freedom of expression uh, even when we don't agree with what's being expressed. 
Uh, and so uh, I think that uh, Poland has navigated that process as well as any country uh, in recent history. Uh, I very much value the contributions that Poland is making in Tunisia. Uh, I uh, appreciate the fact that your foreign minister uh, has now visited uh, Benghazi. Uh, so again, let me thank uh, everybody in this room, but uh, the people of Poland for uh, being an inspiration to change uh, around the world, uh, and I'm very much looking forward to uh, hearing uh, some of the observations that uh, those who've uh, fought long and hard for democracy uh, may have as we uh, face uh, similarly uh, transformative moments uh, around the world.